At Baked by Melissa, we make bite-sized stuffed cupcakes in a variety of flavors. My personal favorite is the six-color tie-dyed cupcake that I'm gonna make with you today. It's important to use room temperature ingredients when you're baking. It helps you to create a fluffy texture. The airtight seal of the pop containers, it keeps all my ingredients perfectly fresh. And the container is clear so I could see when I'm running low of my ingredients and you could stack them so you could see everything you have. I'm the type of person that needs to see everything I have, otherwise it's not there, you know? I think it's easier to get the remnants of the dry ingredients with a spatula. You'll wind up over mixing it if you use the mixer. I'm separating the batter so I can dye it, so I can make it colorful. The advantage of having a silicone spatula like this one is that you don't leave any of the batter behind. You can use two colors, you could use four colors, you could use 10 colors. You can make them whatever you want. Bake outside the lines and just have fun with it. I use these silicone baking cups by themselves and also as cupcake liners. I love them. There's also a neat fill line, so it tells you when to stop with the batter so you get perfectly even cupcakes throughout the whole batch. These tabs make it super easy to pull the cupcake out when it's finished too. I use these cookie scoops for so many different things because it releases the batter so well and it makes the whole process fun and easy, a little click, done. Let me use the icing knife. I'm just gonna give it a swirl. You know they're done when you touch them and they're not wet and they spring back. I'm gonna take them out of a baking pan and slip them right out of the liner. Look at how easy that is. This knife is a little bit easier than using a butter knife because it's perfectly straight so you could run it across. I decided to go with white vanilla to draw attention to the beautiful, colorful cake. You haven't mastered baking cupcakes until you take a big bite as your last step because that's the best part. I hope these techniques help you master tie-dye cupcakes in your own kitchen.